Hello everyone, on this video we are going to continue where we left on the previous one, so if you didn't watch that one, you can find a link in the description. Because we have two buttons that look the same, the one to start and pause the Pomodoro and uh, the one to reset, I'm going to create a widget and uh, to that widget I just need to pass the text to be displayed in the, the button and uh, the action to perform on press. So first create a size box to give some space and now I'm going to create a new widget. So create new file and call it custom but that dart. It's a stateless widget uh, as well and call it custom button import material.dart like I said it takes the text that's a string and a function so function on tap and final string final string text Add the constructor with uh, these parameters. Create constructor. Okay, we don't need the key. We can remove this. Uh, remove this here as well. Okay. We can change here the return, and it's going to be a raised button with on press. The function we pass so on the top here the shell a text widget with the text text with the text okay like this and uh, a style text style and change here the font size to 15 and the wrap in the widget to change this button width so button theme and width to wonder so here we can import this widget Copy this and only change here from progress icons to custom button. And we can use it here the on tap. For now I will not give any action. And the text is going to be start. You can copy this to create another button and just change the text from start to reset. Let's check. Okay, it looks good. Now we created the, the layout. I'm going to place the logic and put it dynamic and how worthy. So create a new folder called model and inside put Pomodoro status because the Pomodoro has several stats and this is going to be placed inside an enum and it's called Pomodoro status the Pomodoro can be running, so running Pomodoro can be paused can be running the short break can be pulse inside the short break so pulse short break running the long break 
pulse the long break as well. So no, pulse long break and uh, finish the, the set. If you have any doubts here, don't worry, I'm going to show you each case where it applies. So save it and import here. Now create a new folder with the, the utils. And inside this folder create a new file called constants. Inside this file I'm going to place all the things that are constants and um, should be available for our application. So place here the Pomodoro status and here I'm going to place how long is the the breaks, how long is the Pomodoro, the the number of Pomodors per set and the, all the things that are uh, shared between uh, screens because we now only have one screen but we can have more and uh, these constants should be shared so Pomodoro total time is 25 minutes so because we are working in uh, seconds is 25 times 60 short break is five minutes long break it's going to be 15 minutes you can place instead of uh, putting five times 60 you can place the the number of seconds directly but I put it this way just to show you and be uh, more clear what the, this means Pomodoro per set Pomodoro because it's the Oporo. Pomodoro is uh, tomato in Italian, so Oro is the Poro is uh, Pomodori. It's four. And uh, here I'm going to create a map so you can pass the, the Pomodoro status and uh, get the description. If it is running, the description is Pomodoro is running. Time to be focused. Let's copy this a bunch of times and change. So the other case is when it's when it's paused. So here the description is ready for a focused Pomodoro. Change this to running short break and the description short break running. Time to be relaxed. If the sh short break is paused, the description is wet and you need to put this like this and uh, let's have a short break running the well, break it's similar to the short break but I'm going to change only from short to long now pause long break same thing so change this from short to long as well and the last case is when you finish the, the set so set finish and the description is going to be congrats you deserve a long break. Ready to start? Okay, if you want, you can give other descriptions. This is just an example. So now I'm going to create a map that is similar to this one, but it's going to give the, the colors. So we can copy and place it here and here. Instead of a string, it's going to be a material color. Because when uh, we are running or in the break, the clock has different colors. 
So I want to place here the colors that should be displayed. So if it is running, the color is green. Sit here and change from green to orange. I'm short break is red. Basic logic is when it's running the Pomodoro is green, when it's paused is orange, and when it's running the the bricks is red. I'm only using three colors. So we go back to home screen and. Uh, I forgot here to put the text with the description, so we can place it now uh, above the buttons. So the text starts the description. And the style. Colors dot white. Access box below as well. This we can save it and check. Okay. Here is where we are going to display the description. And because the buttons change text and the text is only for this screen, I'm going to place these constants here and not in the shared file. So, button text start is start Pomodoro. Button text of resume Pomodoro is resume Pomodoro. Here should be like this to resume break. And start short break. Here, take short break. Take long break. And start new set. Pops. And reset. Thanks guys for watching. I will finish this video here, but I will continue on the next one. So don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. Thanks and see you soon.